In this video, I'm going to show you how to correct problems with the drivers for the Cricut Explorer. And when this happens, it's kind of a rare situation, but it does happen sometimes on Windows systems where the Explorer is connected to design to the computer, but Design Space fails to recognize that it's connected and it tells you to plug in the USB cable to the Explorer over and over again. So the first thing you should check is to make sure when you plug and unplug the USB cable from the computer that your computer is making a sound like it is connected and disconnected when you do that. So the next thing you want to check are the drivers. And in Windows 7, Windows 8, I think it's the same way to get to the device manager. If you don't know how to get to that, you click on the start and click on control panel. Of course, I'm using Windows 7. In Windows 8 or 8.1, you would right click on the start button and go to control panel. And then go into system. And then up here on the top left, you should see device manager. Under device manager, everything should look normal and you should have exclamation or should not have any exclamation points on anything. If you do, you may have some driver issues with a particular piece of hardware. I am going to focus on the Cricut Explorer drivers. And when the driver is installed properly, it will show under your ports usually and it will say Cricut Explorer and it will have a COM port beside it. It may not, it may be three, four, or five or something. The number doesn't really matter. But as long as it's here, under ports and doesn't show an exclamation point it should be fine however there are times when the driver does not install properly and it shows up under one after the network adapter is called other devices and it will have a little exclamation point on it and it will say the drivers are not installed properly so the way you can correct that I'm going to do this with mine uh, I do not obviously have one that has a problem so I can't show you exactly what it looks like but you will go through the same steps and that is to right click on the Explorer and click update driver software. Your next screen should give you a choice. You can search automatically or you can browse your computer. If you search automatically, it may find it and go through just fine. If it does not, you can go back and click update driver software. You can click browse my computer. And again, your, your Cricut plugin must already be installed at this point in order to do this. So, uh, the, you're going to click the browse button and go to your C drive and you're going to look for one of two folders. If your system is 32-bit Windows, you will have a Programs Files folder. If your system is a 64-bit Windows system, you will have Program Files and Program Files x86. So if you're 32-bit Windows, you're going to go into this folder. For 64-bit, you're going to go into the Program Files x86 folder. And then you'll browse to the Cricut Design Space folder. And then click on the Drivers folder. And click on Explore. And when you do so, you can click Next. And it should select the driver and install it and clear up the problem for you. If you're interested in my support services or consulting services, please visit my website at www.troyyoung.com for most current pricing information. Additionally, you can go to patreon.com slash troyyoung to help support my channel. Hopefully my video has been helpful to you. If it has been, please subscribe to my channel and by all means, please share my videos.